This is a review of the Snapper XD 21 inch 82 volt battery powered walk behind lawnmower with step sense. It's model 2691528. In this review, I'll talk about what's included, features and specifications, and share my likes and dislikes along the way. I've had this mower for a few months now. I've been using it every week to mow the lawn, so I'll also be showing you the mower in action. Oh yeah. I'm sure you're already aware of the pros of this battery powered mower. It's quieter than a gas powered mower, doesn't require any gas, there's no need for oil or spark plug changes, and my favorite, no exhaust fumes. It's just the smell of fresh cut grass. There's nothing like breathing fresh air, and perhaps a little pollen too. Bless you. The mower has a brushless motor, 21 inch rust resistant 14 gauge steel deck, and comes with a 1.7 bushel bagger, which is 2.1 cubic feet a detachable side discharge chute, and a mulch plug that allows you to mulch grass back into the yard. I got this mower as part of a kit. It was model number 1687982 from the Home Depot, which included the mower, two two amp hour batteries, and a rapid charger, which is model BSRC82. As I've mentioned, the mower's quieter than a gas powered mower. While it's definitely quieter though, don't expect to hold a meaningful conversation while standing next to it. The mower is easy to start and reaches full power within three seconds. Just snap in the batteries, put in the safety key, push and hold the safety lockout button, and pull back on the bail lever. Just note that if the step sense lock button is unlocked and you accidentally push forward on the handle, the, the mower can jump forward on you. That surprised me. No load speed of the blade is 2800 RPM, and the mower has load sensing technology to adjust the power level for maximum efficiency. Listen to the engine pick up when the grass gets thicker. The mower has the StepSense auto drive system and has rear wheel drive. StepSense is just Snapper's version of self propulsion, and it does a good job keeping pace with any mowing speed. So whether it's casual Saturday evening speed, la, la, la. or we need to leave for gymnastics in five minutes or else we're going to be late again. Speed. It works well enough. You turn step sense on or off using the step sense self propel button. Unlock turn step sense on by unlocking the top handle and lock turns it off by locking the top handle in place. While this is an appealing feature to me in theory, let me tell you how I find it in practice. Other than mowing in a straight line, it's awkward to use in our small yard. I push and pull the mower a lot to work around flower beds and fences, and when step sense is engaged and I stop, release the handle, and try to pull the mower backwards, the rear wheels lock up. I found the trick to preventing this is to release the step sense handle, push the bar underneath with your palms to move the mower forward, and then pull back. But ultimately, I don't use this feature because the mower is easy enough to push and pull without it. One of my favorite features of this mower is the oversized single height adjustment lever, which adjusts the height of the blade. It is so much easier than having to adjust the height of each wheel. There are seven settings and they adjust the blade height between one and three eighths of an inch and three and three quarters of an inch. Lastly, the mower can be stored standing up, which is important in my case since our shed is small and packed. And stowaway dimensions vary depending on whether the upper handle is or is not folded down. The lower handle is easy to lock and unlock, but the upper handle requires unscrewing these knobs. It's too bad uh, there aren't quick release locks on the upper handles as well. The maintenance for this mower is simple. You're supposed to sharpen the blade annually, which I'm likely to do, and clean the deck after each use. Um, <laughs> I'll have to work on that. Oh, I also wanna show you the blade compared to my gas powered mower. The blade of the snapper looks a little smaller, but it cuts just as well. The two rechargeable 82 volt lithium ion two amp hour batteries that I got as part of this kit provide roughly 60 minutes of runtime, which is more than enough for our two tenths of an acre. It typically takes me 15 minutes to mow the lawn, so I get about three to four mows before I need to recharge the batteries. If you're considering this mower and 60 minutes isn't enough runtime, consider getting the four amp hour or five amp hour batteries. Just keep in mind, the batteries aren't cheap. Each two amp hour battery charges in roughly 30 minutes with a rapid charger and provides roughly 30 minutes of runtime. 
With one charger and two batteries, that's one hour of charge time for one hour of runtime. Of course, runtime and charge time can both be affected by various conditions, for example, cold temperatures, the height of the grass, just to name a few. Now, the mower can run on a single battery, so one battery can, in the, can be in the mower while the other one's in the charger. And this is really important in cases where you have one dead battery and the other one only has one bar, and you've left mowing the lawn to 30 minutes prior to piling in the car to go on a week's vacation. Come on, Dad. Yeah, it happened to me. And it was stressful, especially in that moment. See what I did there? Moment. Keep in mind, if you don't get a rapid charger, charge time is twice as long uh, in a regular charger or more in the case of a five amp hour battery. I should also forewarn you that the rapid charger is noisy. I can hear it upstairs in the room above the workshop and it sounds like an electric heating fan. Make it stop. The batteries do not come fully charged, so charge them before first use for best performance. And per the battery manual, the battery will not develop a memory and can be charged at any time. And yet the mower instructions have a warning stating the battery must be charged every three months in storage to maintain maximum capacity. Is that a contradiction? <clears throat> anyway, I recommend that while the mower is not in use during the winter months, be sure to charge the batteries at least once. Lastly, I like that the batteries have a battery capacity indicator. So I know whether to top them off should I decide to be neighborly and mow the neighbor's lawns. You're welcome, Tommy. The mower weighs 71.7 pounds without the batteries and more depending on which batteries you choose. In my experience, weight has its pros and cons. The pros of a heavy mower are that the mower is well balanced, easy to control, doesn't bounce around and is sturdier uh, on slopes. In, in my case, I have a slope that's greater than 15 degrees and that's the maximum recommended angle for safe mowing. The cons are that the wheels can flatten tall damp grass and if you have a have to lift the mower up and down a few stairs like I do uh, at the end of the season or I do it around the yard to avoid walking uh, all the way around a fence. It's a struggle and it's awkward. Regarding price, upfront costs for battery powered self-propelled mowers are higher than self-propelled gas mowers and this mower is on the higher side of the range as compared to mowers with comparable features. It is a quality product though. Regarding warranty, for consumer use, the mower comes with a five-year warranty and the charger and battery come with a two-year warranty, so keep your receipt. In the case of commercial use, that means anything other than residential use, for example, income producing or rental purposes, there is a 90-day warranty on the mower and no warranty on the battery and charger, so keep that in mind. I find this mower works just as well as my gas-powered mower. It does a great job bagging and mulching grass. Now, as far as bagging and mulching leaves for those of us who will do anything to get out of raking, it does a decent job as long as the deck height is set properly. Lower settings work best, obviously, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. All right, let's see the tool in action. switch back to the motor. You can see that grass is pretty long. Some of these pretty tall.
It just randomly shut off. Got it on the third from the lowest setting. We're gonna mulch first and then we'll pick it up with the bag. Show you what's in the bag most of the leaves got mulch right into the grass to the lawn looks good as i mentioned before it's really important to have the deck height set properly when bagging or mulching leaves i just finished this the deck height was at three and three eighths and as you can see it didn't mulch up all the leaves to wrap up this is a nice mower with lots of helpful features i like the convenience of having a battery powered mower and not having to breathe in exhaust fumes while i mow it's worked well for our small yard, and I really enjoy using it. You'll have to weigh the pros and cons though for yourself to determine if it's right for you. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and like it, and most importantly, please subscribe. That always helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. Bless you.